Hi, I'm Tony Svile on Hillside Christmas Tree Farm. I um, was just doing a little walk through the exotics and I saw some very disturbing damage, basically deer decimated. I knew that going into this that deer did like Nordman fir and um, these trees were planted in 2019 and I haven't seen any damage, any nibbling, no signs until this year, until this year. So now we're gonna go for a little walk and I will show you what these trees look like now. I don't think they're gonna come back. I am also a member on the UK Facebook group, so I'll kind of get their input, see what they think. What's really great is I have some pictures from earlier this year, uh, 12, December 17th, so <laughs> like two months ago. And you know, they, they, were, they were great. Uh, one of the uh, Ted in the group was asking about Nordman and how their growth rates were and you know how they look like so Here's how they look like now Ted. I think I Don't know what, what do we do in the past we put some you know, Irish spring soap out in the past. I didn't do that this year. I don't even think I did it last year it might have been a couple years ago I don't know either way damage is done Pretty upsetting all right, let's go for a walk all right, so this is my exotic field. I've talked about it a lot. We're starting out, we're getting into our uh, Koreans. I don't know what happened there, looks like. Not sure what happened here. Something, something rocked that guy, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe a rub. All right, so first we're coming into our Koreans. As we kind of walk up the hill, trees get a little bit older. So we're coming into our Grands. <laughs> grand, grand, and now here they are. Here's our Nordman. This was a beautiful four foot Nordman, now absolutely destroyed by these deer. Didn't get that top. Here's the next one. The next one, next one, and then we're back to a grand fur. Every single Nordman that I had looks like a twig. Coming down, coming up. Oh, very upsetting. A little further this way we get into our Koreans. And they haven't been touched, besides that one nice big one over there that has a deer rub on it. But all these Nordmen, oh, heartbreaking. So that was the risk, right? I clearly, you know, I carved out this area in the woods, put some a little more at risk. Let's get rid of this double while we're seeing it here. There you go, rule number one in Christmas tree farming. Have hand shears on you all the time. So yeah, yeah, I mean, at this point, I'm gonna leave them. There isn't really much I can do about it. Uh, might as well leave them there just to, hopefully they eat those trees, not the other trees. If you got any tips on Nordman, think they'll come back, <laughs> think they'll be salvageable, let me know. Like I said, I'm going to reach out to the UK growers, see what their thoughts are. You know, what are you going to do? Best way, 100% is to fence it, but I am not going to fence it. So move the tree, try the, you know, the trico or deer repellents, get on top of it, be on top of everything all the time, right? So damage done. Thanks for watching. I'll keep you updated.